Addressing the ignorance and negativity I've been receiving due to me driving my enclosed mobility scooter as a visually impaired disabled woman. Hey guys, Elsa here. I'm currently in the scooter, but um, I wanted to make this video because I feel like a lot of people are, um, you guys are probably messaging me, which I appreciate, um, and I feel like some of you are a little concerned about the recent wave of hate I've been getting, and I, I appreciate you guys' concern and everything, but I feel like you guys are more worried or bothered than I am. Um, and so I kind of, I feel like, to, especially to my loyal fo followers and people that have been supporting me since the very beginning of me going on this, you know, what is it called, a cre content creator journey that I've been on, um, it's definitely been interesting. It has been a learning experience, and it has been... For sure, eye-opening. Um, but you guys, I'm good. I'm okay. Um, I feel like you guys are a little bit more worried than I am, but I'm I'm good over here. <laughs> um, it is never that serious. Um, again, I, I started this whole journey because I wanted to, you know, educate people on the fact that people like me exist, visually impaired people, legally blind people to be exact. And um, also to, you know, show that mobility equipment tool, like the enclosed mobility scooter that I have, exists because it can really truly help so many people out there whether you're disabled or not um whether you're visually impaired or not i feel like this is an amazing thing that people need to know about i mean not a lot of people know about these so i understand where a lot of the ignorance and just meanness from people that have no idea what this is or why i need it or why they even exist i don't take it personally when people spew their hate because it doesn't mean anything to me um at the end of the day i know who i am um i know why i need this and i know what it does for me so the end of the day people's negative comments doesn't mean anything to me you know what i mean like i feel like i am grown you guys um a lot of people assume that i'm really young and naive but i am grown okay i am 36 and in my lifetime i have gone through so many things so many things that a lot of you youngsters that are coming on here harassing me and making fun of me or just fighting with other people in the comments that are defending me um, you guys can never, <laughs> you guys can never live in my shoes and deal with the things that I have to deal with on a daily basis. So because I am mature and, you know, have a life and things going on, um, while yes, being a content creator is technically a job for me, um, it's also something that I enjoy and I'm passionate about. But I mean, I'm okay. Like I said, at the end of the day, I have real life problems to worry about and deal with than what someone said on TikTok or their opinion of this, like, I don't care but <laughs> there it reaches a point where especially if people are talking down on my disability or don't understand it or are criticizing me about well if you're legally binding you shouldn't be driving you shouldn't be doing this you shouldn't be doing that i'm sorry but who are you like who who gave you the authority to have an opinion on my life and yes i know a lot of people are like well you're putting yourself out there you're you know putting your life out there so don't get mad if people say stuff but it's just I find it very interesting how these people that are talking so much crap would never, ever say anything to my face or in person. But it's really interesting how over a keyboard or social media, people just grow these cojones to say the most blasphemous things. And, you know, I, I feel like when I respond to ignorant comments, I'm not just, oh, you're lowering yourself. Don't don't give them the time of day. I'm standing up for myself or other people like me and I can do that for you guys that are telling me don't respond don't do this don't do that believe me there is always a method to my madness if I am choosing to respond to someone it's for a reason and it is for my benefit not theirs not to give them attention or to feed into their narcissistic um ramblings or something I I have a point to this you guys and I I do this for a reason and one of my things that I've noticed a lot of haters hate about me which i could care less um is when i expose their ignorance and um do video responses to their ignorant and just mean comments they they really don't like that i guess they don't want tiktok to know how ignorant they sound or how they're attempting to either bully me or bash me or make fun of me they really don't seem fond of that but i don't care when i respond to these comments and expose your ignorance i'm doing it on purpose because i'm not gonna lower myself every single time to feed into your madness i will let the tiktok universe do that for me and they do um so again i'm good you guys i feel like 
you guys have no idea the amount of negativity and hate I get on a daily basis. For what? For why? I don't know. I'm not doing anything controversial. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm literally a visually impaired, legally blind, disabled woman that is living her life and is sharing my life, my experiences, my amazing mobility equipment tool that helps me so much. That's literally what I'm doing. And people apparently have a problem with that. God forbid a disabled person is living her best life, being a mom and doing things just like everybody else and isn't complaining about it, isn't whining about it, is being independent and happy and wanting other people to experience this. Like, God forbid. I don't know if you guys, you know, look into the dictionary very often, but the word, it's, it's giving, you know, ableist. And uh, I'm assuming a lot of you young people don't know what that is. Google it. Google it. Um, also, I'm going to make a video about this later. Legally blind is blind is not the same thing. Not at all. Obviously, if I were blind, I would not be driving. I would not be doing everything that I'm doing. But I'm not blind. I'm legally blind. And whether you believe it or not, there's a difference, guys. But again, just to clarify some of the the craziness and arguments and stuff in the comments, I try to delete those as soon as I see them, by the way. So um, that's why I think a lot of you don't understand the magnitude of craziness and just meanness that is out there. But I, I'm, I see it. I see you guys. Um, again, I don't care. I'm still going to do what I'm doing. I still have an amazing amount of people out here who care about me. And that's the reason why I'm making this video for you guys is to let you guys know I'm okay, you guys. I'm good. You know, I've been in this world for a long time and I got a thick skin. Um, I don't take, you know, comments that are just mean and nasty to heart because I know myself. I, I'm very um, aware of how the world is and that has nothing to do with me if you guys have an opinion or something about me that is your business not mine whatever people say about me is not my business um but yeah i'm good you guys i promise i'm good and i will continue um to do what i set out to do and just help educate and spread awareness about things like this whether people like it or not i'm gonna keep doing it um and if me being me bothers you then move along guys there's a huge amount of tiktoks out there that you guys can watch that you probably enjoy more and I'm okay with that. Um, but anyway, hope you guys have a nice day.